Hello and a very warm welcome to Asia Business Report here in London. I'm Marlene Said. Let's start with Apple because the tech giant has released its latest earnings in the last few hours. Let's take a closer look at the numbers. It's reported a 35% jump in sales of its flagship iPhones. That's between the period of April and June. That helped push up profits to nearly $11 billion, a record for the third quarter. Sales in China have also more than doubled to over $13 billion from a year ago. All sounds pretty impressive, but actually Apple shares have fallen in after hours trading down by nearly 7%. Michelle Fleury reports now from New York. Michelle Fleury there. Well, earlier I asked technology consultant Paul Boudet how important the emerging markets are to Apple. Technology consultant Paul Budder there speaking to me earlier. Well, we just heard about the Apple Watch. So let's stay with watches because the global market for them is staggering $60 billion a year. But the industry is also fiercely competitive. Philip Stein is a brand that tries to differentiate itself by including what it calls well-being technology into its watches. Things that it claims help you sleep and concentrate better. Well, Asia is already a major market for the brand and it's looking to expand even further in the region. Rico Hizon has been speaking with president and co-founder Will Stein. Rico Hizon speaking to Will Stein there. 2014 was a difficult year for the airline industry, particularly in Asia with two Malaysia airline disasters and the crash of an Air Asia jet. But a leading industry body says this year is expected to be the most profitable year yet. The chief executive of the International Air Transport Association, Tony Tyler, has been speaking to the BBC's Leisha Chi. Now to India, where more than 100 million people get about on these things, motorbikes or scooters. And when it comes to maintenance or dealing with a breakdown, most bikers go to a local mechanic. Well, the BBC's Samir Hashmi visited one business in the state of Gujarat, which is offering a free service to attract more customers. And for more on business in India, you can catch India Business Report every weekend here on BBC World News. Well, that's it for this edition of Asia Business Report. If you're wondering where Rico and Sharanjit are, well, they're moving to a new studio in Singapore where we'll be relaunching the whole programme on the 3rd of August. So stay here for that. Coming up next on BBC World News, it's Sport Today.